So what does this one look like with the scalar method? Here's the same wrench that was in the problem we did with cross product. 120 newtons in a plane parallel to the xy plane, so it's at that 60 degree angle. You only, again, have two different displacements between there and point A, and two different components of the force. So when you actually put this into your list of possible moments, again, you will have three of them that are automatically zero, which leaves you only the three different ways that this can go. You can have the y displacement and the x force, the z displacement and the y force, or the z displacement and the x force. That's all of the choices you have. So as you're looking at this wrench right here, how does it turn point A? With the scalar method, take your right hand, put it up the axis of the 80 and curl in the direction of the force. The direction of my force is back. So if you go up and back, this is clearly going to fall this way. That's the rotation about the negative x-axis that I have down here. So this one's going to be negative. This is the j component. That one's negative. Now I also have this 160. So if I put my hand out the 160 and curl, back, out the 160 and curl back, you can see that my thumb is pointing in the positive Z. This is the one that you would expect. If you're pushing on a wrench, it's going to turn this way, screwing in. So that's your Z component, this one, 160 times that component. That's positive. What's the last one? The last one is the component here in the Y direction and this distance excuse me, 80 times this distance. This is as if you are sitting here at A and pulling on your wrench. So you have one turning that's turning the wrench like this. You have one turning that's pushing the wrench over like that. And you have one that's pushing it this way. That's your third rotation. And if you talk about how that's going to be pushing that that way, this is about the I-axis this way. Tipping this over is tipping it this way, and my thumb is in the negative x direction. That gives you that one. So all you have to do is multiply these couple things out and figure out what the signs should be i, j, and k.